Are you over there? Miss Tony? Hello? Oh, hi. hi! Gosh, I've missed your face. I've missed you so much, too. Oh, man, I wish I could hug you right now. I wish I could give you a hug, too. With social distancing, we have to stay apart from each other. So here we go. Air hug. Oh, gosh, I've missed you. I've missed you more. I've missed you, and we have missed you. We've missed seeing your faces every week in church. And so we figured if we have missed you so much, we think about you all the time, huh, Lauren? Gosh, all the we think time. about you, pray for you. We figure we've missed your faces so much that surely you've missed ours. So we want to give you Here our face. Hello. <laughs> but really, we have missed you so much. So, so, so much. And we wanted to figure out a way that we could uh, just talk with you for a little bit. And this is a great way to do it. So um, we're happy to be here today to be able to talk to you. Lauren, was there something on your heart that you wanted to share? Yeah. So hi, everybody. I just want to make sure you guys all know how much I love you and miss you. It's been really hard not seeing you guys every week. I really miss you guys so much. You always uplift me. and. It, it's hard not seeing you guys, but I want to make sure that you guys know that no matter what, even when we can't see each other, the Lord is there for you. In the dark times and in the happy times and when you're sad or whatever you're doing, whether it's homework or being with your family or playing games, He's always there for you no matter what, and you can always rely on Him. He promises that He'll get you through whatever is going on. In fact, he says that uh, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So if you feel like you're struggling with something, choose to have a good attitude about it. Ask God to give you joy and choose to find things to laugh about. We pray that in the midst of all of this stuff that you're laughing with your families, that you're doing fun things together and you're, you're finding different ways to connect with each other and to just have fun because laughter really is good. The Bible says laughter is good like a medicine. So we hope that you're laughing in the middle of whatever it is that you're doing, your homework, your chores, uh, your family time. Make sure you're laughing and having a great time with it all. I agree. And it's really important to have joy even in the, in the situations where we think it's not the best times, right? Because think of how blessed we are. Even living here in America is just God's blessing upon us, something that he just gave us. Think about all the people that we have over in Uganda that we love, um, like our Tender Mercies kids. Well, yes. we don't have one right now for Kids Church. There are a lot of people over there that are having a really hard time right now. I heard, Lauren, that they've had a, the same thing going on over there, that they've all been sent home and told to stay in their houses, and they, yeah. they can't even get out to get a meal or anything, and a lot of our kids isn't that this right that a lot of our uh, tender mercies kids the only meal they would get every day was when they would come to school is it's that true? true that's and that's one thing that i got to see when i was over in uganda is that a lot of times the kids that we are sponsoring and helping out over there they only get one meal and right now they're not going to school either so it's hard for them to figure out where they're going to get their meal from but you want to know something really cool what that through tender mercies and through the omega healing center the church over there we have figured out a way to be able to get some money to our kids to be able to feed them that's fantastic so i wanted to make sure that you kids church kids know that even though we haven't had a, a child this year since renita has graduated the money that you've been giving we are going to send to uganda um, we're going to send it when it's safe to send it but in the meantime um, we have been able to uh, make a way that for $27 we can feed a family over there for the remainder of the time that they are supposed to stay at home. Wow. So $27 will feed a family for weeks and so we're going to take all the money that we have collected in Kids Church and we're going to put that towards feeding families. That's Isn't that fantastic. Cool? And if any of your families want to uh, participate in that, all you have to do is reach out to us and let us know drop a check in the mail or go on to um, the gift plus app and make sure that you designate that you want to give towards uh, our kids in uganda and we will make sure that we feed their families isn't that cool that's amazing and by that doing makes, that well, that makes me so happy i was so worried about them. me too and think about it by doing this you're able to not only have joy that you're doing god's work but they're going to get joy too and it's really cool that, you know, God connects us all the way around the world. And we have so many things to be thankful for. 
So just remember to keep other people in your prayers too, yes. all around the world, because God connects us no matter where we're at. No matter where we're at. And that that is happening around us too. You might know somebody that needs help with something and don't be afraid to help them. If you know a family that, that doesn't have food, uh, talk to your parents and see what you can do to help out other families because really together is how we're going to get through all of this. And the Bible even says that where people come together and they're unified, that he blesses that. So we hope that you are looking for ways to um, have joy, that you have a good perspective and you're looking for things to laugh about. And we hope that you're looking for ways to be a blessing to other people. I know I've been blessed just by seeing you here today, and I'm blessed knowing that all of you guys are out there and that I just want you to know how much we love you. So Yes, we love you so much. We miss you, and we can't wait to be together again. So we're going to watch for some more videos. There will be some more videos being posted in the next couple of weeks or so. So watch for us, and uh, we love you, and we miss you, and until we see your faces again... We love you. We love you.